So we wanted to uh, give you a little bit of an experience. During our Shabbat dinners, I do a lot of interruptions. It's just I think I'm known for interrupting beautiful conversations. I do want to, uh, first of all, let you know that we're mixing it up a bit this year. I feel like throughout the year we've been very mixed up. We have COVID's over, it's not over. Uh, well, I do want you to know one thing, that throughout this year, even with all the mixing up, we have not been mixed up, and that's really thanks to all of your support. So thank you very much. I feel like in a raging sea, we've had the very calm waters. I'd like to just begin on behalf of Hani and myself to uh, thank each of you here who are here this evening and to those of you who have supported for this evening, uh, our sponsors for this evening, as well as our Chai Society donors, the Chai Society major donors, our Nate Sachs Legacy Chai Club donors, our financial supporters, there are 600 families to be exact, I checked that, that's not a rounded up number. Uh, for partnering with us to create this most beautiful and caring community for our community's most dear, our seniors. I do want to also make a quick special thank you to our executive committee, to those of you who are on it as well as our advisory board, so thank you very much. The events, the programs, the friendships, the care, the love, is truly with complete gratitude to all of our 149 dedicated volunteers. There are many of you here, and thank you very much for all your time and efforts. Together, our supporters and our volunteers, I call that the secret sauce of Smile on Seniors. And I know that Connie and I are most grateful, but as well, every single one of those who benefit from our programs and events are most grateful as well. I, I always share that we're thankful to God every single day that we have come into the same circles as you and that each of one of you are in our lives and for all the success and growth that God has shared and given and blessed us with Smile on Seniors. Today we did call this a happy hour, so I would be remiss if I didn't share a l'chaim with every single one of you to continued blessings in your lives, spiritually, materially, with your children, your families, your friends, to always celebrate good health and happiness. L'chaim. I know I said short, but I got a little bit more to share. <laughs> Several months ago, we received a donation online from a person whose name I didn't recognize, and that's not necessarily odd. However, this person also selected the box that says that they wanted to give a donation monthly, the Nate Sachs Legacy High Club. That was odd, because usually we know people who are committed in that way before they become that. This is a first time donor who's now giving each month. So I called him up, his name is Michael, and I called him to thank him. I also called him, I wanted to get to know him, to understand why he's donating monthly and committed in such a way on a first time. And so I'd like to share this evening briefly in my own words what Michael shared with me. So during COVID, I went to uh, one of the kosher pizza stores. There's only two for those of you who know. <laughs> and the box that I received said on top, it had a hashtag, it said, this pizza box wants you to call your grandma. <laughs> Michael told me, he said, I follow you on social media. I know exactly what you do. I thought I'm going to meet him and share what we do. He says, I know what you do. This is exactly what we do. We care about grandma and grandpa. We care about others as well, of course. And our volunteers are very good at it. And I want to share that you are all good at this because you've partnered with us and joined with us in this mission. So thank you. Our programs and events that we do meet seniors and older adults wherever they are. That's in their homes, in our center, on the phone, or even on Zoom. In fact, this evening we have tonight, I don't know where Adele Northrup is here, in the center, uh, but Adele is from Atlanta. She does not live in Phoenix. And the only reason why she is connected to us is through our Zooms, thanks to Izzy Lifshitz, who does our movie discussion group, Izzy's right behind me. Uh, 
they mentioned that there's a fundraiser coming up. She says, oh, when? I want to be there. And she got on a plane. She's here with us this uh, evening, so thank you, Adele. So just to share some of our offerings, I, I, I quickly took a quick count. We have 31 unique programs that we offer throughout the, throughout the year. But in events-wise, it's over 70 events. Just from one-on-one -on -one friendly visits, to Shabbat dinners, monthly lunches, Thanksgiving dinner, which is coming up, movie discussion groups, thank you, Izzy, Sip and Shmooz with Khani, discussions with the rabbi, Super Bowl parties, cooking demonstrations with Benita, holiday events, tech tutors, and I do know that I'm missing a few, but I'm just gonna share one other one that we, meet, we rolled out last year, and God willing, in the next couple of weeks, we'll truly uh, roll it out. That is JAMA, Jewish Active Mature Adults. It's not the journal for medicine, whatever. <laughs> I know a couple of you have called me out on that. We're just using the acronym, but it's Jewish Active Mature Adults. And what I realize is, is that every single one of you here, you too care about grandma. So here's one of the stories that I always like to share. It's made a, an indelible impression upon me. Uh, many years ago, there is a community, I say many years ago, uh, when I first started, it's 13 years, so when I first started we were going to a retirement community, it's called Chris Ridge, it, it's been Brookdale, it's been a lot of names, uh, right now it's called the Palazzo, and this is one of the communities that we visit, we visit over 50 communities in the valley, and we're looking to always grow and visit some more, so a woman comes over to me, it's around Purim, it's around the holiday of Purim, and she asks me this question. She says, Rabbi, why was Esther, who is Jewish, allowed to marry Ahasuerus? She wasn't. And so I give her an answer. I'm not doing a lesson here, so we're going to keep it short. I give her an answer, and she tells me, thank you. She said that this question she had asked in Hebrew school as a kid. And the rabbi slapped her across the face. And she said that was the end of her Judaism. She didn't teach it to her children. She was never involved in anything Jewish because of that. And this is exactly why Michael told me he supports Smile on Seniors. Every single month, we visit these communities, giving our seniors an opportunity to live their Judaism, ask any question. No judgment, just love. Thousands of seniors in the valley have this experience, and this is what you support. This past Purim, so what, nine months ago, we hosted a party for seniors, it was quite large, and not lost in the grandiose part of the party was an interaction in the hallway that I captured actually on camera. Two women, both living in different retirement communities, I, I hear a shout and this like shriek, and I'm thinking someone's falling, it's my greatest fear. And it's two women just hugging. One lives in the palazzo, in, sorry, in, in the manor, and the other one lives in Maravilla. They were friends many years before. They haven't seen each other in years. And because of this forum party, they were together and they were reunited at last. And as another woman told us, her name is Lori, she said, you gave us back our friends. It's been a tough few years, and you, every single one of you, have really been there for our seniors. Your support hasn't wavered. And this is all thanks to your support. I do want to end on, it's not always happy things. Our volunteers become friends with our seniors. It's a community, it's family. And when they are in pain, we are hurting too. And it's not always easy. However, knowing that the community is strong, it provides comfort, it provides healing, and, it, and we know we're not alone and they know they're not alone either. Our Shabbat dinners have a vibe, and when people can't attend, they feel down about it. A senior who attends our events recently was diagnosed with cancer, and the first person she called was Khani. She cried. She told Khani that she's going to miss the SOS events, the friendships that she has because of them, because her chemo treatments are going to keep her away from crowds. Knowing how difficult this isolation is, we actually have a volunteer group within our volunteer group that is called Soaring Spirits. And we call up Pinky, who leads that. And we activated these volunteers to make sure to check in on her, call her if she's up for a visit. I know that Pinky's even picking her up from a chemo treatment this coming week. And this is why Michael said he supports Smile on Seniors. And this is why he committed not once, but every single month. 
Last Friday, knowing how much this woman misses our Shabbat dinners, I drove to her home with a Shabbat in a box, as I call it. It had challah, soup, matzah balls, dessert, and more. She opened up her door and she couldn't speak. She had tears in her eyes. She didn't just have Shabbat dinner. She had the love of each and every single one of you. And thanks to your continued support and care, her house that Shabbat was full of guests. So thank you.